everybody welcome to the planers ridge subdivision obviously we're in a new construction neighborhood you hear the power washes going off and today i'm going to show you a brand new construction that actually closes today it's one of my clients and i wanted to showcase their beautiful home with this being the planners ridge subdivision this is what's called the banks there's five four plans and today we're going to see one of the most beautiful ones come and take a look at it Hey, welcome inside one of the homes here in the banks. This is actually a house that we're under contract with with one of my clients. So I'm not gonna tell you the address, but if you like this home, please go to the description below. Book a call with me. I'd love to be able to show you some of the other homes like this in the area, okay? We got five floor plans. This is gonna be more of our open concept. We have an absolute draw, drop it. Kitchen. I don't know about you, but the goal that we have on these countertops when it comes to the actual handles, it's what's in right now. I absolutely love it. You obviously see the super tall ceilings. All homes are going to come standard with the gas fireplace, with the brick matching the outside of your home. But some of the things that I absolutely love about this kitchen specifically, obviously, like I was saying before, the goal, we have the open farm sink, the oven, and this huge pantry over here. But wait, Luke, what, th this pantry's not huge. Okay, if you don't think that's huge, then take a look over here. Bam, pantry number two. Before I show you the main bedroom, come through here. We got a little sneaky hallway, three car garage is right here. We got a linen closet, and we move over here, you have your laundry room that's walk-in, very, very large on the bottom level, the same level as the main bedroom. And we have this little guest area. So this could be a mother-in-law suite or a nice private area for guests to be able to come over. They have their own bathroom with their own bedroom away from everything. So they're not in the way or when it comes down to family and stuff like that, you get a little bit of separation. And just to show you a little bit about how big the closets are, the main bedroom is obviously gonna have the largest closet, but you do have a little bit of a walk-in walk in when it comes to a closet on this bottom. And a question that I get all the time when it comes down to homes, especially for you California folks that are moving over here, everything is electric except for the fireplace. You're always gonna come standard here in the state of Georgia, or at least middle Georgia, I'm not gonna say for the state of Georgia because I live in middle Georgia, always gonna have the electric stovetop range. But if you're like my wife, she really, 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 really wants a gas oven. You can actually have the, the tubes with the gas run underneath and you can get a range. If you want to buy one of these homes, they can actually upgrade you for the gas stovetop. Um, not this specific neighborhood, but the neighborhood over, over in the woodlands, it's a $1,200 upgrade. A uh, client of mine did that last week for that upgrade. If you do it early on, they can run the gas to the stovetop and it's going to save you some money. As we make our way over into the main bedroom, and us see the coffee ceilings. They're super tall, as you can see. And to put it into perspective, it's kind of hard to be able to figure out how big an actual bedroom is when it comes down to it with no furniture. So what I always do is I kind of just like just lay down on the floor and I'm five foot 10. And this is me like fully sprawled out. I got like, I got, I got at least two and a half sprawls. I got at least two and a half sprawls. So you could easily have a king size bed side table, side table, and do whatever you want. If you want a TV in here, you do your bed this way, side tables, and then put the TV up top. Well, I'm gonna give a little advice for the guys out there, okay? Just go to bed, read some books, treat the wife nice, don't stay up all night watching TV, spend time with her, and read together, okay? We'll, 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 brown, it, we'll brown it points right there. Also, all the homes are gonna come standard with this barn door to slide back and forth something super cool but as we make our way into this gorgeous bathroom tile work they always do a phenomenal job double vanity and you always get these soaker tubs so when it comes down to the tub too ladies for you i'm a guy i've never taken a bath in my entire life you got jacuzzi jets press this button starts working access is actually from the closet that's right behind me i'm gonna show you that in a second but check this out this place is huge you got tall ceilings in the bathroom and privacy. But let's go check out this closet here. This closet 
is ginormous. Just think about it now for the guys watching this. Yes, you can put a full twin size bed in here when you upset the wife, okay? You're gonna be very, very comfortable. So this is the only style plan that has this open staircase here in this neighborhood. I think it looks beautiful. Um, the other staircases are gonna be off to the other side of the kitchen. You're gonna have a wall blocking off. But when you make your way up these stairs, it kind of gives you the ability to overlook everything that's going on. And it brings you upstairs. We have three bedrooms, one bathroom, and plenty of space. Let's start off with bedroom over here. We're gonna have a walk-in closet. You're also gonna see this right here for extra storage space. Check out this closet though, compared to the one downstairs. Much more space when it comes down to it. When it comes down to the rooms, in the closet over here, you just, you just have more space than the one downstairs. So if you do have a family, I recommend they live up here. Downstairs is for a guest. Or think about this, telework, and a lot of people are teleworking right now. You could have your own office separated from the entire home. And you have your own bathroom and you kind of, kind of sneak into the kitchen and get some snacks and then kind of sneak back into your office so you don't get bothered throughout the day if you have kids. But we can make our way over to bedroom number four. Again, nice size bedroom, have the taller ceilings, comes with the fans, and again, you have another walk-in closet with a light. Now, bedroom number five is something that is pretty interesting. You're gonna walk in here and you're not gonna see a closet. Because when you open this door right over here, you're gonna end up going outside to the little attic area that actually has your two water heaters out here plenty of water to push out. You have some extra storage without having to go up into the attic space itself. Um, you know, the pull down ones that I talked about in the other room. But now you have this almost Jack and Jill style bathroom. You have a countertop here, it's own storage. Got a closet right through here. You have this block off with doors that lock for the toilet and the shower. And we move over here and you have a separate sink and more bath to the open hallway. Hey, let's check out this back door. Because here in the base, you're gonna get just under a half an acre. They're always gonna have this concrete pad poured. Beautiful brick right here with outlets for a TV. In my recommendation, this is a little small, I'd have the builder for an extra concrete slab. You can put a TV up here, kind of get a little bit of an overhang, turn this into like a backyard oasis. You have so much space out here with so much that you're able to do. The builders do about 10 feet of sod. They plant seed on the back. My recommendation, I always go for sod. I'm gonna be honest, we live in Georgia. We have red clay, this grass. I'm a grass guy. We're gonna do pH tests and do the pre-emergent and all that kind of stuff in the spring. Um, not my favorite thing to see in the backyard. Sod, it gets expensive. The thing is, it's worth the money. To be able to really turn your backyard into exactly what you want it to. But at the end of the day, that's what you're gonna be able to get over here in the banks. Well, hey, there you have it. That was the home tour. This is the Banks neighborhood, but if you need any more information on maybe some other neighborhoods here in the local middle of Georgia area, again, my name's Luke. I help people relocate, buy, sell, and invest in real estate here in the local middle of Georgia area all the time. And I'd love to be able to help serve you and your family. Go to the description below, book a call with me. I'd love to get in contact.